I've got a real live guru, a yogi, on the podcast today. We're going to dive in and find out where this whole thing came from. And really, Spartan comes from this. My mom got into yoga and meditation back in the 70s. Welcome to the Spartan Up Podcast with Joe DeSena, founder and CEO of Spartan Race. We are talking about overcoming obstacles. The same way we teach people to get over obstacles on the course, we will teach you here on the Spartan Up Podcast to get over obstacles in your mind. This episode of Spartan Up is presented by Trifecta. Unbox your best self with the food, coaching, and community support you need to reach your goals. Trifecta delivers delicious, micro-balanced meals directly to your door, no matter your diet. Clean, keto, paleo, vegan, or vegetarian, Trifecta is your nutrition partner for your best self. Joe DeSena here, CEO and founder of Spartan and the Spartan Up podcast. My mom got into yoga and meditation back in the 70s, and I've got a real live guru, a yogi, on the podcast today. We're going to dive in and find out where this whole thing came from. And really, um, really Spartan comes from this. So Guru Dev, you apprenticed under the, the creator of Transcendental Meditation. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. I was with him. I was so lucky to be with him in my teenage days. When I was 24, I started the Art of Living movement. Where are you sitting right now? Are you in India or in the, in the U.S.? No, I'm here in North Carolina in the Heavenly Mountains. Yes. And so you don't know much about me, but my mom found yoga back in the 70s, the early 70s. And um, she met her guru and she brought yoga and meditation and health food into our household um, way back then. And I rejected it. And my father rejected it. And everybody in the neighborhood rejected it. I'm not surprised, Joe, because in the early days, in, uh, in the early days of Art of Living, when we started, you know, people thought yoga and meditation is for people out there and it's not for the mainstream people, you know. People would look here as a, something is wrong with these guys, you know, who do all sorts of postures and sit uh, in cross legged on this floor. That was the type of uh, uh, narration that was there in those days. That's why I didn't call a system, a program, yoga or anything spiritual. I said, art of living. Then people got curious to know what is this art of living. Then they discovered so many things, you know, about oneself. And this is uh, all about wellness. Are you, I mean, I know the answer, I think I know the answer to some of the questions I'm going to ask, but for, for those that are listening and watching, like, um, I guess we all get sucked up into just waking up, getting ready for work, doing our work, um, going to sleep and starting all over again the next day. And so when you talk about the art of living, is there more to it than that? It's uh, learning about our own body, about our breath and how important role the breath plays in making us centered and making us more creative. Third thing is about our mind, you know, how we are able to manage, how we can manage our own mind without all those antidepressants and all those sort of anxiety pills that we take, you know, to calm the anxiety down, learning about mind and then about intellect. You know, our intellect has so many type of prejudice. We have gender prejudice, we have racial prejudice, generation prejudice. Uh, all these different prejudice in the mind doesn't let us uh, connect to people. So we need to learn a little bit about our own intellect, our memory, our ego. These, and then there's something in our life which is um, not changing. You know, anchoring on that some mystical thing deep within each one of us brings us so much inner strength to endure any challenges that we face in life. 
and this is what we call art of living where it makes life more a celebration than just you know grumbling and grouping here and there and creating misery for others yeah so so yeah i mean most of us in the first world we we chase material things right we chase the opposite sex we chase food right the special food the dessert this and that and then we tr- like you said we we we've become addicted to opioids and uh, antidepressants and you know back in the 70s my mother would say what you're saying which is let's let's back up for one minute and let's first discover who we are and 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 what we're made of and and if you slow it down a little bit is that what you're suggesting slow it down yeah i say we have to learn about our internal uh, faculties that we have we need to learn about our breath how our breath can help us to be more energetic nothing against materialism okay you you want to be successful in life fine you should have it but you have to take care of yourself too your health what's the point of having a lot of money and you can't and good food and you can't eat and you have diabetes and you have all other hypertension and many other uh, ailments today see the world is suffering from mental illness like never before especially after covid the suicide rates have tripled and mental health issues and the violence that you see in this country is appalling don't you think so every day some here or there you hear there are mass shootings domestic violence all these are signaling us hey come on wake up we have to do something we have to attend to something that can bring you in a peace and that's what we 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 need to bring me- robust mental health like keep aside the spiritual aspect okay that's a different issue but basic wellness basic healthy living with a happy mind is what everyone is looking for and that you can get by learning about our own inner faculties we put on races all over the world and and those races um have people crawling under barbed wire climbing ropes jumping over walls they're sweating they're breathing heavy in most cases it's the hardest thing they've ever done and what we find is that we're shining a mirror in our participants face they're they're looking at themselves and they get to find out who they are and what they're made of and it feels very similar to what you're preaching but but a different a different way of doing it you know uh, i would say that uh, yeah it's good to bring about the hidden talents in people many time people don't know their capacities their capabilities uh, you know when you push them a little bit over the edge then they are able to perform better so if you encourage someone to run faster which they have never done before they do it and they feel happy about it great about it but what i'm saying is see uh, we fail to see the connection between our mind and our emotions our breath and the connection between the breath and our emotions for every rhythm of the mind or every emotion there is a particular rhythm in the breath see here what we teach is about the breathing techniques number of breathing exercises a dozen breathing exercises they learn so that they can calm their mind at will at wish they don't have to say that oh i'm feeling desperate i feel bad i feel sad hey come on wake up you have the power to snap out of that bad mood that's what we we teach them so by this what happens they are able to be master of their own moods their own emotions if they get really mad at somebody they are know how to steer themselves so that it doesn't get into a uh, you know horrible thing that they regret later on see all the blunders that happen in the world happens at the spur of the moment 
when you, your emotions are out of your control and your reasoning takes a back seat. See, here we help them to see that they are able to be robust. They're, at the same time, people who feel that there is a block, I can't love, I cannot feel the love, or they are craving for love from others, or they feel the loneliness inside them, all these issues get resolved uh, when we attend to breath and a few minutes of meditation, which I would say the calming the mind down, moving away from activity, as I would say, slow down, calm down, then you find you are sitting on a huge wealth of creativity, of intuitive ability and uh, happiness. You know, you, everyone can be a beacon of happiness for people all around them. You've got goals and we can help you reach them. Trifecta is an immersive weight loss program built on science-backed principles that actually work. Step one, answer a few lifestyle questions. Then set your goal weight and we'll give you a personalized plan on how to reach it. Step two, the Trifecta app is like a virtual coach in your pocket. Look out for daily education and nutrition tips as you begin gaining momentum on your journey. Step three, let Trifecta be your personal chef and dietitian too. Eliminate the guesswork and kitchen burnout with pre-portioned macro-balanced meals delivered to your door. They're crafted using organic ingredients with different meals arriving each week. Simply unwrap, heat up, then eat. Step four, you can change your plan anytime or pause or skip weeks. Hitting a roadblock on your journey? We have a plan for that too. We'll arm you with ways to break through plateaus and get right back on track. All that's left to do is crush your goals. Get started today. I um, I tell people, you know, again, I heard this message from my mom, you know, 40, 40 years ago, and it was hard for me to digest because if you're a young person or you're a go-getter, you don't want to slow down. You don't want to listen to, I just need to breathe better. That's ridiculous. But, but I tell people, I tell myself, just do some push-ups, do some burpees. Do, and that, I, now that I'm listening to you, I'm thinking that makes me change my breath. Right? My breath changes when I exercise and it calms me down and so I don't, I don't have those negative thoughts. I don't do... No, see, yeah, I, I agree. Exercise is too good. But at the end of exercise, you have to relax. You work out with your muscles. If you don't relax your muscles later on, you know, you will end up in uh, very uh, tough nervous conditions. So your nervous system calls for relaxation. For example, sleep. What do you do in sleep? Every night you sleep. Uh, you know, insomnia is another issue these days. If you do too much workout, you can't sleep in the night. Your heart rate has to go down. And then you have to think also. <laughs> you see? So for that, I would say balance is needed. There are different type of rest and different type of activity. They all help you to become a holistic person. I'm not saying, of course, in the past they would say, renounce everything, just slow down, don't do anything. We're not saying that. No, 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 not at all. But we see that this sort of little bit rest, deeper rest, will aid your brain function better and it takes you out of your anxiety. I've seen in gym, you know, I myself, uh, practice. We have gymnasium in our own uh, retreat centers everywhere. We do weightlifting. We do all that. Activity, physical activity, is absolutely essential. And yoga, you know, for example, it attends to seven systems in our body: the circulatory system, the nervous system, the muscular system, the respiratory system, and the endocrine system, like this. So. What you get from one exercise will at least support a particular system in our body. It may not support all the systems. So we need to tune everything you know, in our system. That is what we call the art of living, where we, we are not telling people, hey, you don't be ambitious, or just don't be materialistic. No, we are not saying. 
even to be in a material world to be a successful businessman you have to have a communication skill and to have better communication skill you have to have a calm and collective mind so our programs are taught in many fortune 500 companies today for ceos and we are teaching in 108 universities all across usa and of course many around the world and the students find it tremendously beneficial because they have this examination you know palpitation that they get when they have exams and the anxiety the nervousness everything is taken care without any of those tablets that you had to pop in how does getting to know oneself and taking on the art of living and breathing correctly how does it help you become more resilient see when uh, you feel very fit physically and mentally resilience is a by product when you have clarity in mind and your emotions are high and positive what do you expect from that person not just sit and uh, go to rest or you know say oh don't disturb me type of mindset no the person would want to share it with everybody want to be active i i mention to to people all the time if if i was to grow up in a greenhouse and the environment was perfect and i had the perfect amount of sunlight and the perfect amount of water or i was to grow up on the side of a mountain and my roots were wrapped around the rock and i was facing a windstorm every day it it seems to me that 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 tree that plant growing up on the side of a mountain is just tougher has more grit more resilience is that the right way to think about it absolutely absolutely yeah, unless you take risk in life it's not so interesting and to take risk you need to have a lot of uh, inner courage inner strength and uh, you know willingness to do that if you are scared if you are afraid of about yourself all the time i don't think you can take any risk about yourself you see so that example a tree on the cliff is the best example i think one could give i would like everyone to be a tree on the cliff <laughs> to, to to feel that uh, the challenges that life faces on us in fact everybody gets challenges in their life only thing people try to avoid them and run away escapism is not the way to live life to its fullest we have to face it and move through it all with a smile this is the one thing i say you know you can play a game but then you can you can look very stressed out i say come on when you lose a game or win a game you should have a smile so in the game you either you win or you have the um privilege of making someone else win you know in either case party that's what i say yeah i i tell my children there are three things three things that you have to master to be successful um but but feel free to change this for me because because i would love your perspective one is you need to be able to communicate like a movie star two is you have to be able to work outwork everybody like an immigrant this is probably politically incorrect but you know what i mean people that mm-hmm. come into this country they work harder mm-hmm. than than americans and then number 3 i said you have to have gratitude like a monk right and i think that's what you're saying is is be grateful you get to play the game don't be upset if you lost or you know, it doesn't matter you got to play a lot of people can't even play correct 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 Absolutely. So right. maybe I should be a monk. <laughs> you know there is that little monkness in everyone. Monk means letting go. You know unless you let go you can't have a good night's sleep, you see. If you have yeah, having like, a good night's sleep, then there is a little monk inside. Similarly there is a little child inside everyone. Else. And a little child communicates freely with everybody. There is a sense of belongingness. there is no barriers there is no boundaries due to any prejudice in the mind 
So there is a child, there is a monk, and there is an entrepreneur in each one of us. And we have to nurture all three. Yeah? And, and, and if you nurture too much entrepreneur and not enough monk and not enough child, then you're unbalanced. Then you get, end up uh, taking lots of pills to calm your anxiety down. <laughs> I like this. I, I'm going to use this. There's a little monk, a little child, and a little entrepreneur in everybody. Um, how would you recommend people start in their home? They're listening right now, and they need a couple of simple things to do from you every day. What would you suggest? I would... Uh... Tell them to see life from a broader perspective. You know, whatever your age, just remember. See in the past, look back a little bit and see. There were many challenges at every level in your life and you have overcome them all. So that gives you an inner confidence. I can overcome any challenge that comes in the future too. No challenge is anyway new. I mean, challenges... They, they come in new forms, but challenges have been there in the past too. That's number one. Second, take a little time to reflect the, with your life in context of the whole cosmos. Time and space. You know, that will take you into deep meditation. So meditate for 10 minutes, 20 minutes every day. And do some breathing techniques. Learn some breathing exercises. There are a number of apps that are available. Even Art of Living has an app in which you can learn many meditation. In initial stages, you may find meditation is too hard and mind is going all over the place the moment I sit quiet. That's where you would need a little help. You know, guided meditation would help in the beginning, three, four, five sittings or ten sittings. Afterwards, you will find it an effortless process. You just sit and you feel deep relaxation and you find yourself very resilient and happy. Yeah. Mm. Then, one last thing I would say everybody to everyone is just don't sit and think only about yourself. This is a mantra for depression. If you keep saying, what about me, what about me, what about me, you will feel more depressed. See, what is that you could do to the world around, people around? We are in this planet for a short period of time. What is that we can do to make this planet better? How we can help the environment? How we can help people out there? These thoughts, when you encourage in your life, I think it can make your smile very robust. My, um, yeah? my best lesson... One of my best lessons I received from um, the boss of an organized crime family. And, and he killed people for a living. And he said to me, the best thing you could do on this planet is help people. And this was a good message, even from the wrong person. Mm -hmm. How can people Namaste. find about the art of living? How can people find it? Uh, it's art of www. Art of living. Art of living. .org. That's the website www.artofliving.org Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm going to breathe easy today. We started Trifecta with a very singular mission to get America into shape. We were really interested in launching a business that was able to actually directly help people. That happened to be us helping with the chronic disease crisis that's caused by nutrition. We make it with organic ingredients, macro balanced meals, fully biodegradable packaging. Trifecta's here. Oh, yeah. We have an amazing company mission to help get America back into shape. Thanks for listening to this episode of Spartan Up Podcast.